Enable has a very important date with Destiny as she bids to win an unprecedented and historic third Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. Can she do something that no horse has been able to do before? We're on the verge of seeing history. Only one horse has ever tried to win three arcs. This is the biggest day of our life. This is her day of destiny. We've been building up to this all day, all week. In fact, all year, Enable could be about to make the street. Racing away. Frankie on Enable. She's about three off the running rail. Well strung out. Enable is in fourth place. Enable, she's now poised, she's in third position. Enable in second place, she's two lengths behind. Enable has the lead, and it's Enable in front, she leads. Volkgeist in second place, is closing down the centre. Volkgeist in the red jacket is getting up, he's won. Pierre-Charles Boudot was one of Volkgeist, beats Enable. Teddy, has Enable crossed the line in the 2019 Breed of Luxe How confident could you be after that defeat that she will be back 12 months later? It was a very emotional moment or moments in, in, uh, post, post the Arc de Triomphe uh, last year, mainly because the expectation had been so enormous. Uh, and of course, when she hit the front, we thought, is she gonna, she, can she just do it? And, and of course, she got outstayed in the end by Waldgeist. Uh, and, and so obviously there was a, a, a there was, deflation in, in, in the team as there was around the, around the whole race course and, and, and wider. So from that point of view, I don't think we'd, we'd got any sort of firm ideas uh, about what, what we wanted to do. Um, and of course, then she got back and she got back in good form and ate up and was, was good. Uh, and uh, and then you began to think, is this holy grail still attainable? Uh, and then as, as another week went on and she was still, she looked good in form. And obviously we talked to Prince Khalid, um, mainly, I mean, it's, it's it really all in his giving as it were, um, that, 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 that anything continues. And so, when when it became clear that physically she was in great form uh, and had come out of the race well and was sound and in her attitude is the best the best thing about her she, she she wants to do things she wants she wants to be front first in the queue for everything uh, and and so she was still showing that so that gave everyone the encouragement the encouragement to, to, to continue and try. I think one of the reasons that we all might love Enable even more now is the fact she was defeated, but she came back and she won an historic third King George. And, you know, whatever she does in the art, let's not forget no horse has won three King Georges. In usual years, you'd be just saying, wow, three King amazing? Georges. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it, it, sometimes coming back from defeat is as heroic as continual winning like your great Frankel sort of thing. I, I think... In the eyes of, uh, of, of, of the public, um, I, I think people, everyone loves to see someone get off the ground and, uh, and, and do it again. And uh, not that she was on the ground by any means, but she certainly, it, it was, the defeat was uh, um, uh, hurtful, I think, um, uh, emotionally. But then I think when she does come back, you have that element of the suspense, a larger suspense of whether the, whether they're back up to their best mm. or whether they, they really have that mental attitude. That's we keep on coming back to that. I know, but it's she has that extraordinary will, and you can tell it in her work. She she's the most demonstrative horse that m most people have ever come across in terms of where she is, what she wants to do. Uh, in, in every way, not in, and when she's ready to work, and John's skill in, in getting the balance be between the need to get her fit, uh, and, but also the need to let her do what she wants to do in her own time. And of course, and then you add the sort of Frankie element uh, to that, which is a sort of 
you know, semi-love affair, a full-blown love affair. <laughs> yeah, I uh, which I'd is be worried about Frankie's missus. Uh, <laughs> I think Catherine's <laughs> delighted. <laughs> uh, but so, so you you have that uh, that extra element uh, of, that is of, of interest to to a sort of much wider audience. What ways has she changed? Because I mean, she's been racing five <clears> seasons now. It's been a blessing to have her for, all, for since 2016. What what ways has she changed them? I think when they're um, they're younger, they're more high, they're generally high, higher energy because it's it's all a little bit new and certain things upset her or not don't and everything is uh, is is a bit more hyper and intensity and of course. We, we all know is that it's slightly harder to lose weight when you're older than it is when you're when you're younger. Why are you a, looking at me straight in the eye when you say that? I'm not. What's I'm looking, for? trying to look at my <laughs> own mirror. <laughs> uh, but and and so from that point of view, when um, two years ago, actually before before she uh, she had that little injury, um, she was absolutely flying in in the spring. Uh, she read, and John said, oh, I, th "I think we may have to, uh, we may have to run her a little bit sooner because she's just in, you know, something like the Ganni, I think we were talking about." And she was just going, and then the following, the following year, last year, she just took that little bit longer um, to come to herself. You could see it, and she in her work, and she did a piece of work. We were hoping to run her probably at Royal Ascot, I should think, and. She just wasn't that. She didn't. It was a nice piece of work, but it wasn't. You know, Frankie got off and said, mm, "I'm not quite sure she's there yet," and uh, and and it proved so. John gave her a bit more time. She went to the eclipse, and this year it was it was it was much more of the same. It, it was that she she was fine. She was happy. She was sound, uh, and she was giving the right signs that she was still in, still in the game, as it were, but. She wasn't. She hadn't got that that little bit of oomph that you suddenly think when Fr is Frankie is sort of holding her together in in a gallop, and and then of course it came and of course she went to the eclipse and it, it, it's always a again it's a balance because we'd said that last year before that she would need the race and 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 it's part of it is is. From the point of view of the outside public, is 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 managing some expectations without wanting to put anybody away and say, "Listen, she is going to need this. The only way we can get her to where we want her to be is having a full blown race." And 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 so therefore, if you're looking at all those elements, it, it, it's again, it's a sort of a, a, a gentle balance. In general terms. Mm. Does the team feel that she's had a perfect preparation this time, that, and there isn't really any excuse on the preparation front? I'm not a great man for excuses. You don't make excuses for a naval. You know, she doesn't need them. Um, and so, uh, from her point of view, uh, we have to say everything that we, we'd like to have happened has pretty much happened. Uh, and uh, she came out of the King George tremendous form and still you know people say it was a three horse race and it wasn't that, but it was st it's still you know King George still takes a bit of winning and it takes a bit of winning like she did uh, and and so from that point of view and she's gone on went to to Kempton had a really good just there was little things at Kempton that the lead the <clears throat> next door horse as he was going in he flicked up and the lead hit her in the face when the stalls opened, her head was a little bit up, and though so for the first time practically in her life, she missed the kick there. And, and the ground being very hot there, and it was it was quite sticky. So I, I think all those little things, but it's good in a, in a preparation. It's good to have that sort of preparation. This time you have a problem. It's a big problem. It comes in the shape of love, who in many ways takes the advantages that Enable had a few years ago. Three-year-old yeah. filly. Yep. Obviously, they're both females, but she's a three-year-old, so she gets quite a bit of weight. Seven and she looks really good as well. So, but in some ways, do you see that? Well, if she could beat Love, it would elevate her to an even greater level to what she is already. Because for those who say, and, and rightly you've said, you know, Japan and Sovereign, no mugs who were in the King George. But for those who say she's not having the most competitive season, to go and beat Love in the art would absolutely nail it. You, you couldn't argue with that. 
I think I put it the other way around. I think it would make love, yeah, if she, it would elevate love more than it would elevate if love were to beat Enable. It would certainly elevate her. Uh, Enable's already done that to a, var a huge variety of horses. So I, I think winning a third w would put her in a, in this, into the stratosphere. And of course with Enable, this might not be the end. A lot of people, once again, presuming it is, but it might not be the end. But if it is the end, and let's just say she doesn't manage to win three, but she has this record of three King Georges, two Arc de Triomphe, probably for me, arguably the greatest triumph of winning the Arc and then the Breeders' Cup turf. And I thought she was absolutely incredible in the Breeders' Cup. Whatever happens, if she did get defeated, we, we clearly should not ever think to ourselves that we haven't seen something magnificent with Enable and truly blessed to have had her around. I mean, it, it, Prince Carly will have the final and only say uh, in, in, in her future. So uh, as far as how she's judged, it, it's up, that's, that's, that's not for us to say because we, we, as I said last year, we don't love her any less because she's got beaten. Everything that she's done uh, for, for Judmont um, and the uh, a pure joy she's given Prince Khalid, uh, as uh, nothing, nothing will diminish that in, 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 in any way at all. So uh, what, whatever happens, she's been something very special and, uh, and something to be treasured.